Identity standards are important for many reasons, and I want to go through some of them today. Identity standards are typically internationally agreed ways to transfer user information, like attributes, roles, session information, and to transfer that between two parties. Anytime you have two different parties, there's two people who have two different ways to do things. So it's important to have a common, understood, and well-documented standard for transferring that information so that everybody knows how the information is represented in transit. Identity information is often the glue that holds together multiple systems and allows single sign-on. It allows a user to move between multiple systems. It's a kind of middleware. In this model, every party in that transaction has to be able to know what to expect and know how to pass information on to the next party. So they have to follow those identity standards. When we're talking about IT security and information security, about encryption and signing and personal data, it's very easy to get things wrong. If you try to do things yourself, you try to establish a format, think of an algorithm, do encryption, do signing, without referring to how the best practice of that is done, without using a, an international standard, the risk is that you do it wrong. Maybe not intentionally, but through simple human error, you can really put the user of the, the information of your user or the information of your own system at great risk. Identity standards exist uh, for, for many different platforms, for many different transactions, but the main identity standards are mature, they're planned, written, reviewed by expert organizations. These standards have uh, compliance guidelines, ways to test that your implementation or the implementation that you're connecting with meets those standards. And they ensure the data protection and security of the, the user. The main identity standards today are SAML2, which is an XML-based way to send information between uh, two services. And the second one is OAuth2, and a, an extension of that is OpenID Connect. And the OpenID Connect standard uh, dictates how to use the different flows in OAuth2 in order to achieve, for example, single sign-on or identity federation. Using identity standards is a good thing when you're selecting how to uh, use identity in your application because it relieves a lot of stress and a lot of uh, implementation hassle from, from you as a, as a developer. Often certified libraries exist for different development platforms already meeting the standards. Third party cloud services natively support those standards, making connection easy without additional work. Certification and auditing of systems that comply with open standards is also quicker and easier because you can show uh, compliance to a third party peer reviewed service. And identity standards often provide a pathway forward as technology changes, for example, signing algorithms, encryption algorithms, and transport uh, mechanisms change. Uh, supported standards typically are extensible. They support ways to allow various new forms of encryption and, uh, and signing to be used. They support different uh, communication channels and, and so forth. So this provides you with uh, security and safety in, in the future. Ubi Secure products rely heavily on identity standards. Uh, we find it very important for, for us and our customers to uh, follow published identity standards. We're a contributor to many identity standards through working groups, and through review processes. Our products go through compliance programs for identity standards, and those are all in order to help our customers and our users to have the best experience and, and best software possible.